Well, folks, Republican strategist Karl Rove has figured out how to not just get under Marjorie Taylor Greene's skin, but to make her angrier than we have possibly ever seen her. Earlier this week, Karl Rove, right? You know, one of the most successful and evil Republican strategists to ever operate within the last 50 years said on Fox news that, uh, well, let's just read it. <laughs> Actually also referring to Matt Gates, Gates and green are in their own wing of the party and could not cause a quote, significant blip to influence Republican leadership. It's a pretty strong shot from uh, Karl Rove, right? So of course, after he went after green and Gates, Marjorie Taylor green runs running to her good buddy, Matt Gates and goes on his podcast. And here's what she had to say. I want to tell you about Karl Rove. Karl Rove's wing of the party is the failure part of our party. They're very much the operating component that led us into never ending foreign wars and killed American soldiers, brought them home with missing limbs, gave them PTSD, gave them addiction to narcotics and medications that led to addiction to meth that led to addiction to heroin. Their wing of the party led us into massive debt that we're in. Their wing of the party sent our jobs overseas. Their wing of the party is the complete failure that exists here in this town, Matt. And nobody cares what Karl Rove has to say. Almost everything you said there, I agree with you hundred percent. And I know that's weird to say about something Marjorie Taylor Greene said. You're right about the foreign wars. You're right about the debt. You're right about the jobs. You're right about all of that. Where you're wrong, however, is where nobody cares what Karl Rove had to, has to say. And you know how I know you're wrong about that because in the lead up to the 2020 election, when Donald Trump in the polls was getting beat pretty badly by Joe Biden, do you know who he called? He called Karl Rove, right? You may have missed those reports because you don't pay attention to what's actually happening in the world, but that is a thing that happened. That's a verifiable thing that happened. Donald Trump was in so much trouble that he had to reach out to Karl Rove to try to save his failing campaign. So you can't say that nobody cares what Karl Rove has to say. Now she continued. This is where she got angry. <clears throat> Everyone cares about what you have to say. Talking to Matt Gates. People care about what I have to say. People care about what Donald J. Trump, the 45th president of the United States has to say. People care about our wing of the party. Karl Rove can kiss my ass because I could care less what he has to say about any of us. And he is dead wrong. He's disconnected and shame on Fox news for constantly having him on there. Point of order. It's I couldn't care less, not I could care less Marjorie. So if you say I could care less, that actually means you do care about what he's saying. So, you know, maybe just kind of clean up your grammar there a little bit. So you don't sound like a blithering idiot. Uh, here's the thing though. Carl Rove is right. Marjorie. People do, I'll give you this. People do care about what you say because you say crazy and dangerous things that we have to go out there and refute. But legislatively speaking, which is what Carl Rove was talking about, by the way, you don't matter. You and Matt Gates are worse than insignificant. You don't do anything. You're not out there proposing legislation. You're not getting bills passed. Your name isn't on laws that are being signed by the president of the United States. You Marjorie don't even have a committee assignment. You mean nothing to no one. You're insignificant and you're not ma making a blip in Washington, DC. What you are doing much like your buddy, Matt Gates is you're making a name for yourself, right? You're famous. You are a household name, but what does that get you? You have no accomplishments. You don't have a very good resume. You have no track record of success. You ran unopposed and only got 74% of the vote in a Republican plus 50 district. That's pretty freaking sad. You are quite possibly the most insignificant Republican serving in that house of representatives today. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the fair and balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like comment and share, but again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen oh, not be so grumpy.